Hello, Wheaton North. I'm Victor Lau, and this is your Falcon Weekly for Friday, September 6th. Do you love serving and helping others in the community? Come join the first Key Code meeting of the year on Tuesday, September 10th, right after school in room 900. They will be presenting current service opportunities and raffling off some prizes, so you don't want to miss it. See Ms. Lotspeech or Ms. Severance with any questions. Attention TCD students, save the date for the TCD open house on September 19th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Come for an evening to celebrate TCD's past 50 years and to inspire the future. In need of an affordable greeting card? Please stop by the vocational office near the cafeteria in room 511 to purchase. These cards are made by Wheat North students and cost only $1 each. What a great deal. And now, here's the Falcon Sports Update. Here we go. Hey Falcons, this is Josh Miller with your sports update. The varsity football team opened up the season with a phenomenal come from behind victory last Friday night at Rexilius Field against Providence Catholic. Senior quarterback Nick Johnson threw three touchdown passes in the 23-22 victory, the first going to Sam Kaze, the second to David Hyde, and the last one to Shane Derricks in the final play of the game. The Falcon defense forced three turnovers and had interceptions by Matthew Beamer, Matthew Shelton, and a fumble recovery by Dylan Jung. The Falcons head to Lockport tonight for a 6 p.m. kickoff against the Porters. The heat was on as the boys cross country team launched into their 2024 season, facing off against their crosstown rivals, Wheaton Warrenville South. It was a scorcher, making PRs tough to come by, but some runners rose to the challenge. Junior Matthew Joyce and freshman Nathan Carroll both turned in courageous performances. Leading the pack were seniors Aiden Murphy and Luke Haworth, who snagged third and fourth place finishes, respectively. On August 28th, the girls' cross-country team had their first meet of the year against York and Glenbar West. The Falcons came in second behind the York Dukes, with, a st with strong races by Emily Offutt, Maddie Romaine, June Rechtenwald, Annika Carlson, and Hannah Tebby. The team will next compete in the Lee V Invitational at the Northwestern Medicine Cross-Country Course in Geneva this Saturday. The girls' volleyball team sits at 500 after the first week of the season, but have shown some promising play with a dynamic offense and a strong defense. Congratulations to Olivia Zomis for being selected to the all-tournament team for this past weekend's tournament. With seven more games this week, make sure to check out the team's social media pages for highlights. Great job and good luck, Falcons. The boys' soccer team suffered a loss this past week to Maine West with a final score of 4-1 with the first goal of the season being made by Zayo Ferris. Come out to support them next at their away game next Tuesday at St. Charles North at 6.30 p.m. Good luck, boys. The girls' golf team split their opening matches with a win against Glenbard South and a loss against St. Charles East. They will compete at the Ram Invite at Glendale Lakes Golf Club tomorrow. Varsity Boys Golf defend their title by winning the Willowbrook Scramble with a score of 10 under par on Saturday. Good luck next week, boys. This has been Josh Miller with the Sports Update. See you next time, Falcons. If you're looking to learn or discuss all types of cultures, come and join the Multicultural Club. The second meeting is on September 9th in room 411. Students will be electing officers and planning the club's first big activity together. New or returning members are welcome. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Johnson in the English Learner's Office. Interested in being part of the leadership team for the Red Cross Club? Come learn more about how you can help at the next Leaders Meeting, Monday, September 9th, in room 707, after school. The first official club meeting will be Monday, September 16th, for anyone interested. Questions? Email Ms. Corso or Ms. Gosling to join the Remind to stay in the loop. Thinking about that 10-day summer trip to Europe in July of 2025? Travel and learn about Germany and Switzerland's innovative sustainability efforts by seeing state-of-the-art models of renewable energy, urban farming, and ecotourism. To learn more about this exciting sustainable living tour, come to the informational session next Tuesday, September 10th at 6 p.m. in room 802-804 or speak with Ms. Castro in the Social Studies Department. This has been Victor Lau. Have a great weekend, Falcons.